You got God up here. Here's you. Here's man down here. And all God sees is Adam there, right? So how he looks at every person is like that in Adam. And then you got the cross over here. And now when you get saved, here's, here's, here's you right here. This is, this is us. This is the saint. And now what God, how God sees us is through the lens of Calvary, right? That's how he sees us. Now we went from here to there and we did it by faith. Okay. All right. Now, when God looks at us, he sees us through, see, it was through the notice. It says in the body of his flesh through death, because of what Christ did at Calvary, God now can see us this way. Okay. That's our position. We have a, 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 a position of righteous. We're righteous before God. Now that's our push position. But what about the rest of our life? Well, God has a plan and purpose to develop Christ. So now he's all about after we're saved, you're saved. Religion and Satan got you questioning this one right here. Oh, boy, am I saved? I haven't been acting right. I haven't been doing what the preacher said. I should do what the Bible said. And they always got you questioning whether you really got saved, whether you or you whether you can stay saved. Paul, God, God and Paul, the Paul's gospel, the gospel of grace says, look, man, get that settled. You, you, you are saved. It's done. Now let's focus on this. And with this, now God's going to see you with, with the judgment seat of Christ in view. First, God saw us this way. Now he saw us through the cross. I added it. Now this is your practice. And now your practice is to get you ready for the judgment seat of Christ. That's the rest of your life. Now, notice this. He's going to talk about that. Look at verse 22, 22, Colossians 1. In the body of his flesh through death, ah, to present, right? To present you holy. Let me even say that. Here, you holy. When you become a member of the body of Christ, you are set apart unto God positionally. If you're saved, you matter to God. You're holy to God. He sets you apart. Because you're in his son positionally. But then Paul says in Romans 12, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. What? Holy. Acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service, right? Now, God wants your position, your practice to match who he made you in Christ. So that's what he's doing. So notice he says to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. When you get here, he wants that to happen. Definitely when the Lord Jesus Christ hands us over to God, the father, and he doles out our positions there. You, every member of the body of Christ will be holy and unblameable and unreprovable. Then the judgment seat of Christ is the thing that, that cleans you up. If you don't allow him to do it now. <laughs>